Welcome back, my overload of friends. We're doing uh, another SK Zoo. And, uh, well, this, this one was a bit interesting. So I was trying to finish up the reptile enclosure. And, well, let's just say didn't quite turn out as what I thought it would in my head. Um, and it's not completed either. Uh, you'll, you'll see that. But it's getting there. Um, now, I originally was trying to do like a glass dome type of a feature on top and then realize no that's not going to work too well so I scrapped that and pretty much did a flat glass roof now as you can see there are some gaps so that's one of the issues that I'll need to take care of come uh the next episode so there will be a part three maybe even possibly a part four this is the largest project I have tried so far and yes I like how it's turning out so far it just has taken longer than what I expected so there will be a part three and maybe a part four but now the next episode that I'll be releasing isn't going to be part three because I need to take a bit of a break from the reptiles so uh, the next episode will be doing a habitat uh, before I do these next, what would it be considered, um, the next section within the zoo, so whether it be the aquatic or the arctic or the um, African grassland, um, I will put another habitat before breaking up into one of those sections. I do have the pole, actually two poles out on it in the community center on my page here, so please check it out and put in your vote. Uh, that will help me know exactly what you guys would like to see and help me make my channel more for the community. So, please make sure to vote, um, and the next animal that I'll be working with for the habitat, I was thinking on the fancy fox. Um, so that one was recommended by a family member, um, if you would like to have an animal put into the zoo that is available on Planet Zoo, then please comment down below. Let me know and possibly you'll get it added in and I might even name it after you. So please, if you've liked this video so far, make sure you like subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I release a new video and make sure you comment down below let me know what you think what you would like to see or if you have any tips or tricks yourself you'd like to pass on please do I have open ears over here so <clears throat> As you can see though, I went through some decorations as well, and I still have quite a bit of that 
to do. So I am still going to be working on it. It's just, well, like I said, I need a break after working on this one. Um, I also did add in some of the enclosure boxes and or exhibit boxes I should say and man, <laughs> that was a bit of a pain as well. I tell ya! Jiminy Crickets! But Hey, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that Disney may go after me. Uh, uh, whatever. Anyway, so um, I I went ahead, and you're gonna see some of those, you know, floating along there, and that's okay because it should be in part three, definitely. If there's a part four, it will be in the part four, where they're no longer going to be just floating. So just keep that in mind. All right, before you comment down below, hey, you got stuff floating. No, it, it's floating for right now, but we're going to take care of it when we get back to it. But, um,. I did like, though, how that did turn out in the end. Um, so, I'm. I want to add maybe two restaurant type. Well, not restaurant, but. You know, like a, a a pizza type shop and a burger shop, and then maybe two beverage shops inside of that enclosure. Um, as you saw in the beginning, there we have the gift shop that we worked on. Um, I kind of wish I was able to get it a little bigger, but as you could see with the pathing system, just didn't make it that easy. Now, I know the pathing system doesn't look so good right now, but after I'm pretty much done getting everything down, then I'm going to come along and put down roof tiles, basically, or and uh, and stick those down so that way the guests will be walking on those though they don't actually walk on them so there will be some clipping <clears throat> but it'll be very minor and I think I can you know look past that um, but it will just look more uniformic and uh, a lot more pleasing to the eye so <clears throat> um, we are starting to come up to the end here very soon I want to thank everyone so far who is a subscriber who's made it this long to the video Thank you for the support. And those who aren't a subscriber, please think about doing so. Also, please think about commenting down below, letting me know what you think of this video, what you would like to see in future videos, what you think I could probably do better. Let me know. I like that info, that feedback. It lets me know that I'm doing something right or if there's something that needs to be changed. Again, thank you all for your support and love. 
I hope you enjoy this series as it moves forward. On that note, moving forward, there is a good possibility that my uploads make it more or may lessen a little bit. Unfortunately, I got some bad news the other day that my department is closing. And everyone is axed. So, maybe that's a sign I should focus on this community. But again, thank you all for joining me today while we build this reptile enclosure. Thank you once again. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all like how I'm doing it. And I hope you all like this fly through. And I'll see you all next time in reality.